Flat Terrace. Did you know you've just landed on the biggest graveyard in the galaxy? There's not much to enjoy here, besides skeletons, ruins, and man-eating creatures. It's the perfect romantic getaway, sweetheart. Don't flatter yourself, flyboy. And for the record, I prefer my cities intact. Taris was the Coruscant of the Outer Rim, until some lunatic leveled it centuries ago. Now it's a toxic swamp. We're here for an astrogation chart that was in a vault when Taris fell. That vault's somewhere in these ruins. Guess you better grab a viper shovel and start digging. I don't dig, Captain. I supervise. Our lost vault was designed to be recovered after a major catastrophe. All we need are the right sensors to locate it. The catch is, the only person I know with access to those sensors is someone who hates me. Well, who else has access to the sensors? We don't have time to find out. But luckily, we don't have to. I made our contact an irresistible offer. One of the deal's terms is that she doesn't have to see me. I need you to get that vault's location, Captain. Impress the stars out of her. People always tell me how impressive I am. That must be a terrible burden for you. I should also warn you. Skavik knows about the vault. We can't let him catch up. Relax. This is me we're talking about. And I have every confidence in you. Well, almost every. The astrogation chart in that vault is essential to finding Nocdrain's riches, Captain. Your contact name is Beryl Thorn. When Beryl gives you the vault's location, come back and see me. Oh, and try not to let anything eat you. I'm Agent Saganti with the Republic Customs Office. What brings you to my planet, Captain? Last time I checked, Terrace was Republic territory. When you have as many responsibilities as I do, you develop a sense of ownership about a planet. The Republic Customs Office monitors all starship traffic and ensures no illegal goods are transported on or off this planet. There's a lot of contraband making its way around Taurus. If you see anything suspicious, I suggest you report it immediately. I sincerely have absolutely no idea what you're talking about. Honest. That's right. You have Solid Citizen written all over you. I take a special interest in every new arrival to my planet, Captain. Keep your nose clean and we won't have any trouble. Clear? Do you give this speech to everyone? Just the ones I think need to hear it. Enjoy your visit to Taurus. Argo, you're leaking oil again. You want to set this whole warehouse on fire? The Maker said it is better to burn out than rust away. Perhaps I'm testing that wisdom, mistress. I'm looking for Beryl Thorn. That's me? Argo's what passes for my second in command. I recognize you from Risha's Holo. Let's get one thing straight. The only reason I agreed to help is because my contract supplying the Terrace Reclamation Project is at risk. Looked like easy credits. Turns out Terrace is anything but easy. There are lots of interesting ways to die. The galaxy can throw whatever it wants at me. I can take it. If I don't finish my contract, I don't get paid. Tired all my partner died on a supply run. Put me in a real bind. I'll find that vault, but I have to finish my contract to do it. You work for me, and I'll work for you. Deal? What's the upside for me? A real mercenary, huh? I stashed some credits for a rainy day. You'll get them when the job's done. I only have two deliveries left. Soon as you handle them both, we'll find your vault. The first job's for a Republic scientist named Vernon. He's got a research camp in Rackgold territory. What exactly am I delivering? Some kind of sensor equipment. Don't know what it's for. I'll start working on your job while you handle mine. Isn't cooperation grand? Hello again, Captain. I didn't know you and Thorn were acquainted. Agent Saganti, what a lovely surprise. It's only been a day since your last inquis- I mean, inspection. Don't you Republic Customs boys have better things to do than turn my warehouse upside down again? I can inspect this warehouse whenever I want. It's the law. Take Dr. Vernon's delivery, Captain. There's no reason for you to stick around. What kind of man would I be if I left you alone with this guy? A smart man. I can take care of myself. But thanks. Poke around the warehouse all you want, Agent. You won't find anything out of order. Ah. <sighs> what did I just step in, Thorn? My apologies, sir. I believe that is my hydraulic fluid. Dear Adaly, I regret that your husband was killed yesterday by rat ghouls. Please accept my condolences. Dr. Soylan was an excellent scientist. I've never composed a death notice before. How did that sound? The Deer Dolly part was pretty good. I thought a personal touch was warranted under the circumstances. 
Ah, I recognize the symbols on that container. My bio alarms have finally arrived. Good, good. If only this had arrived in time to save my associates. Not your fault, certainly. We knew the risk of studying Rakul's. How did you manage to survive by yourself? I do seem to have beaten the odds. Perhaps there's something about me these creatures don't like. My colleagues and I were studying the Rakul's behavior, hoping to find a means of containing them. We can't afford to let the Rakul's impede our progress. The Republic's rebuilding efforts on Terrus are paramount to future prosperity. What's so important about Terrus? This was a wonderful planet before the Sith destroyed it. The Republic must rebuild and show that Sith aggression will not stand. I've isolated an identifying element in the Rakul's physiology, making it possible to detect and track their movements. The bio alarms you brought will reveal how the creatures hunt. However, installing them will be a challenge with all my assistants dead. You got the credits, Doc. I got the time. Thanks to the Rack Ghouls, I have a budget surplus for staff expenses. You're hired. Place a bio alarm at each survey station we've established, and I'll see you're amply rewarded. If I get killed, I'm gonna be so mad. The path of knowledge is fraught with peril, but we must tread it nevertheless. Come back when you're done, and we'll celebrate your success. Normally, I'd ask for your next of kin's hollow frequency, but I'd rather maintain some optimism. Good luck. Splendid work. I'm already receiving data transmissions from the bio alarms. You've done the Republic's rebuilding effort a tremendous favor. All I need now is my fee. Oh, come now. Take a moment and give yourself a pat on the back before you dash off with your money. What you've done most definitely calls for generous compensation. Good show. Best of luck to you. Soon, we'll know how to contain the rat ghouls. From there, eradication of these beasts will quickly follow. Accept these credits with my extreme gratitude. I'll begin collating my data. Thank you again for everything. Hey, Captain. How are things out there? Beautiful scenery, great weather, man-eating creatures trying to kill me. You should be here. That's the problem with running your own business. You always miss the good times. I finally located the other supplies you need to deliver. They were lost when Tyrodal got killed by the Rackles. A Republic patrol found the supplies with Tyrodal's remains, dropped everything off at an outpost near the lake. What do you know about this lake? Is there swimming? Only if you enjoy bathing in acid. All you have to do is swing by the outpost, grab the supplies, and take them to an engineer named Ovold. Ovold will give you some planetary core samples to bring back to me. Got it? What do you mean with planetary core samples? I have to transport them to Coruscant as part of my contract. It's a science thing. Grab the supplies from the outpost, get them to Ovald, and return to me with his core samples. Good luck. Bimkanaya Nugan. Ejinim Naya Lak Umnan Mege. Nule Lak Apa Jam Kamgram. Amkanem Nang Nemua Inuk. I sincerely have absolutely no idea what you're talking about. Honest. Nakag Agib Kikbenabab. Nea Agam Berakaki. Bomogala Apayang. Nelama Imi Amka Anga. Kala Jiwa Nimok. Bemgam Nyama Naya Aigam. What's my role in all this? Lapuram Amka. Mamni Nikag. Nagnaya Mamni Kambram. Naya Narankam. Kala Ama Mani Mami. Libig Bak. Sure seems that way. Memgam Gamgi. Nina Gegwan. Am Nerna Hanak. Kamperem Ganyam Baji Yang. Mani Kikum Bukam. I handled everything just like you wanted. Nakag Agib. Kik Benabab. Nea Agam Berakaki. Mem Amgab Kugab. Kramanik. Umka Kiga Mayamak. Bemka Naya Nugan. Ejinim Naya Lak Umnan Mege. Kuchusa Yomata Chitoya. Asubi Mota Uipa. Patogawata Kiko Uba Kiriwata Buki Donko. Bet you're big fun at parties. Chaskruni do pat kurira do kanki kung. Buka kampak nijit tonka yiliska chanaga. 
Kabano tase makipuna, mali tuta od mishka. Beryl said you have something for me to take back. Kuchusa yo mata chitoya, asubi mota uipa. Poya toka changa goptula do bata wana wanki. Chaskruni do pat kurira do kanki kum. Seems to me taking more core samples would be less dangerous. Chaskruni do pat kurira do kanki kum. Pampawula ji ota kakoka huta nupisto. If I had a credit for every death trap I've escaped, I wouldn't need this job. Yana da punu, ta uz azulas uval tung mi chakulka di maji. Kabano tase makipuna, mali tuta od mishka. Why'd you have to go and kill everybody? Some of those guys were all right. I'm here for the planetary core samples. Hand them over. Planetary core samples, right. You work for Beryl Thorne, don't you? That's what I used to do. The name's Tyrodol. I was helping Beryl smuggle artifacts off Terrace disguised as core samples. I thought we'd get rich. Turns out Beryl's a soft touch. Instead of selling what we smuggle on the Imperial market, Beryl gives relics to descendants of Terrace survivors for a tiny finder's fee. Ridiculous. There's an Imperial market on Terrace? No. But high ups in Imperial space pay big credits for Terrace artifacts. They're status symbols. I let Beryl think rat ghouls killed me and went into business with the scavengers. They had a bright idea to increase profits. Why sell a relic to the Imperials once we can sell it a dozen times? These droids are making copies of the relics. These droids can forge counterfeits? They can recreate a relic down to the last detail. The copies are flawless. Let's be smart about this. I'll give you a hefty payout and a cargo pot of counterfeit relics if you keep my operation quiet. You go home richer, Beryl gets some relics to give away, and I stay in business. What do you say? I think she deserves better than to be cheated by you. Oh well, I guess we finish this the hard way. Droids! Code Black! These aren't core samples, Ovold, and you know it. Moja jo chaluka, kuna chi do nikti toki saya tupi nu aviti. It's all right. I'm not here to bust you. Nokta chuna do biela, kutogi kumpa jiji no lia makichisa doika boda pachi isa jonki. That's your story, and you're sticking to it. Umpa hupa. Chikilia umpasa do biska. Ha wanchi kospa tota ulia. I can count the number of times I've been truly impressed in my life on one hand, Captain. Congratulations. You walking in with those core samples just got added to the list. I always deliver, sweetheart. Shame to see a man like you wasted on Risha. Argo, take this cargo pod and stow it with the others. When will we finally leave this accursed swamp? The humidity makes my joints rust. Hey, look at that. The Republic just updated my contract log as complete. And right on time, my spaceport friend granted me access to the Republic sensor array. Let's find us a vault. Tell me about this mysterious friend of yours. <laughs> What's the matter? Jealous? Mm, sensors are picking up the vault's unique radiation signature. That's good. Aha, there it is. Oh. Your vault is in Zone Zero, that's bad. Give me all the details. Zone Zero is in no man's land. When the Republic first got here, it sent a bunch of surveyors to map the region. One surveyor made it back alive, said the place is overrun with things worse than rat ghouls. Nobody goes there. No man should march into certain death without a kiss for luck. I'll ask, but Argo's real picky about his men. I beg your pardon, mistress. You'll need serious hardware to crack that vault. Risha's good at getting into places she isn't supposed to. Maybe talk to her. Here's your fee for helping me complete my contract. We're even now. Good luck, Captain. Hope you got that vault's location. I eavesdropped on Skavik and some mercenaries over an encrypted comm channel. They're trying to beat us to the vault. Sounds like they're closing in. Beryl says the vault is buried in a place called Zone Zero. Then we're not sunk yet. Unlike us, the mercenaries don't have the vault's exact coordinates. From what I overheard, Skavik's men aren't having much luck in their search for the vault. Something out there is eating those mercenaries alive. Literally. 
For once, I'm glad Terrace is a death trap. The creatures are slowing the mercenaries down, but not enough. Get to the vault as fast as you can, then open the lock with this Geonosian slicer module. It took me months to trade for this. Don't lose it, understand? You never heard of having a backup, genius? I have a backup. Your head. I figure it can break open anything. Good luck, partner. Hope I see you again soon. Your old partner seems to think you'll turn on me. She's bitter about something that happened a long time ago. Forget about her. You want me to trust you? Tell me what happened with Beryl. You really want to do this now? Fine. A few years ago, Beryl and I robbed an Imperial Treasury station. The heist went bad. I escaped, Beryl didn't. She blames me for not rescuing her from the Imperials. Is there a reason you left your friend to rot? I was saving my own skin. I don't apologize for that. Regardless, I don't work with walking liabilities anymore. That's why I'm with you. Let's get what we came for and haul jets off this lousy planet, alright? Remember me? Agent Saganti with the Republic Customs Office. I have some questions about Beryl Thorne. Let me get back to you. Now, this won't take long. And it's not a request. I suspect Thorne is smuggling relics. And I think I know how she's doing it. What I lack is proof. I need someone to step forward and testify so I can arrest her. I'm looking for an honest citizen, Captain. If I see one, I'll let you know. That's funny. Really? I'm authorized to pay a generous sum for any lead resulting in an arrest. Think about what's best for you. Are you absolutely sure you don't know anything about Beryl Thorne's criminal activities? Tyrodal is the real smuggler, Agent Saganti. Thorne's partner? What do you have to back up that accusation? The crazy Deveronian attacked me at the scavenger base. It was his last mistake. You admit to being with scavengers and killing a man? What makes you think I won't arrest you? Tyrodal wasn't the only scavenger I killed. I did you all sorts of favors, Agent. If Tyrodal was smuggling relics with those scum, they deserve what they got. Sounds like I might be wrong about Thorn. Unfortunately, I may never be able to verify your story. I'm afraid that means no reward. Just leave poor Beryl alone. She's innocent. Nobody's innocent. If I've learned anything in this job, it's that. You've been very helpful, Captain. Goodbye. Beryl needs to clear out of here. That agent won't give up. I don't want Beryl getting caught. Me neither. She's one of the good guys. We should drop by her place on our way to Zone Zero. It's the least we can do. Didn't expect to see you again. What's the occasion, Captain? Republic Customs is on to you. I kept them off your back. You have the vault's coordinates. You didn't have to come warn me, but you did. Where I come from, the best friends are the ones who lie for you. Guess you're a better friend than I thought. Friendship isn't all I had in mind for us. Argo, start packing. I'd like some privacy. Anything to get off this make-out-forsaken planet, Mistress Beryl? I'll, uh, just go count the rat ghouls. Been saving a bottle of Cassandra and Brandy for a special occasion. This seems like one. Come on. I wish we had more time, but I better get going. I want you to have this. Save me more times than I can count. I hope it does the same for you. I'm glad we're parting as friends. Risha doesn't deserve a partner like you. Watch your back, all right? I'll get off Terrace while the getting's good. I know Argo's ready. You have no idea, Mr. Sparrow. Thanks for everything, Captain. What the... Who the... How'd you... Not big on completing sentences, are you? You're just... I can't believe... You're not supposed to be here! We've been through ten kinds of pain getting to this vault. And not to watch you open it first. Skavik, you there? You want to see this, boss? We're at the vault, but we're not alone. <laughs> so perfect. I love it when everything comes together like this. How's life treating you, Captain? You enjoying my ship and all my stuff? What about that two-faced Risha? I'm having the time of my life. Uh, too bad it's over now. Still owe you for that mess on Coruscant. You have any idea the grief I'm taking? I could kill everybody who cracks a joke, but... Uh... 
That's a lot of work. So why don't you just die already? I can't die until I get Noctrain's treasure. Maybe not even then. That's my price, Captain. And I don't plan to share it. Roxer, I want you and the boys to spare no effort killing my friend, and make it as painful as possible. You heard the boss. Fry this fool! You got the astrogation chart, didn't you? I can tell by the look on your face. Did you ever doubt me? If I did, you've just made me a believer for life. That astrogation chart belonged to an exchange gangster named Davik Kang. Davik personally mapped dozens of hyperlanes between the core and outer rim systems. He found shortcuts and hideouts all over the galaxy. How do you find out about this chart? The same way I find out about everything. Listening to the right people. Have you studied much galactic history, Captain? Interesting patterns emerge if you pay attention. Davit Kang's criminal empire ended when this planet was destroyed. Nock Drayan's empire was born when he destroyed a planet. Nock Drayan destroyed a whole planet? Technically, it was only a single settlement. Once upon a time, there was a pirate haven on the Outer Rim called Mandelia. Thousands of criminals lived there. One bright morning, Nock Drayan's freighter dropped out of hyperspace over Mandelia. He demanded the pirates surrender to him or die. Pirates aren't known for surrendering. They weren't afraid of a lone, lightly armed freighter. They thought Nock was crazy. When the pirates sent their reply, Nock launched a single rocket at their settlement. The warhead was tipped with an Imperial nerve toxin. The entire settlement died in less than a minute. Where did Nock get an Imperial warhead? He stole it, of course. He'd been looking for a way to take down Mandelia in one shot, and that was the perfect solution. That day at Mandelia, Nock Drain went from being a low-rent smuggler to one of the richest criminals in the galaxy. Anyway, that's how the legend goes. I should probably let you get back to work. How about some more history lessons someplace private? You're incorrigible. Come see me when you're irresistible and we'll talk. At any rate, I'm ready to leave Taris. I'm sure we can find someplace more interesting to be. You've got a bad case of wanderlust, Risha. Hey, it's one of my best qualities. <laughs>